this shit was up. Today, as the title states, I'm going to be doing a new install on myself. I have a unit that I customized from iShow Hair. They gave me about four bundles and a closure from this company. And the quality of this hair is amazing. But after this install, I'm going to remove the bundles from the dome cap and actually do a quick weave. And it's like super versatile. You can throw your hair up in a ponytail and all that. Y'all gonna get that real soon. But this hair straightens so nice, you guys. So I'm gonna be doing a ball cap method, showing you guys the entire start to finish process. I came across this olive oil super hole wig grip spray. I've been trying to get my hands on this forever. When I say forever, I mean forever. My beauty supply store out here never has it in stock and just randomly going in there trying to get other things, I came across this. So I was like, yes, thank you very much. I played with this the other day. I almost literally took my skin off. This shit is super, super hold. So if you are removing this from your hairline, please use water, conditioner. Do not just snatch that shit off because you're going to hurt yourself. I'm trying to tell you. But let's start this. I got my little wig cap ready. We're gonna do, once again, the ball cap method and I'll talk to you guys during the whole entire process. So let's begin. I'm gonna push my edges back before I put this wig cap on because as you can see, it's just giving very much so childish flyaways everywhere. Wear. Um, I do have two new vlogs on my channel, so I need y'all to check those out if you haven't already. Spraying this around the perimeter. So I'm gonna go in the bathroom and make sure that this is completely dried down. And so I just cut my ears out. Y'all know the importance of that, so we can keep this flat and doing what it needs to do before we remove the hole shebang so i'm just gonna start in the middle and then cut around i can't believe i'm doing a freaking ball cap method for a um closure wig that's how you know i was just not even paying attention to what i had to do today so yeah it's looking a little crazy but it's really because i don't need to be doing this right now so i'm just gonna add a little bit of this foundation powder on the side because i'm cocking this wig to the side Here's the unit, so pretty in this little natural stain. Very pretty wave. Another reason why I love this hair because it's not, it's not too much to maintain and, or too much to deal with, so. Yeah, so you guys, this hair is super, super soft. As you can see, it's in a really beautiful wave pattern. And I just wanted to show you guys that this hair is still holding up really, really nice. The last time y'all seen it, it was a little bit longer, but I did cut into it because I wanted some face frame layers and I just felt like with this density, it would be a little bit cuter if it was on the medium layer type of side so taking that hairspray and spraying it down I'm gonna twist this to the side just a little bit more though I would use the um, I would use rubbing alcohol but because my makeup is already on I don't feel like messing up my my beat Go to the bathroom and below dry this lace down and then I'm just gonna take the cool setting on the hair so this is blown out as well. This shit was all I knew. You and me only. So time for the fun part, styling. I'm gonna be using my Baby Bliss flat iron to get my hair as sleek as possible. I really don't want it super, super straight, but I still want the curl out of this hair or the wave out this hair so i'm going to pass my baby bliss about twice on the hair and depending on how thick your strand of hair is or the thickness of the piece that you're going to curl you want to gauge how long you want to have your flat iron on your head now my flat iron was just heating up so the first couple of curls were very wonky so for a curl like this i leave the ends straight and that's how you get a more beachy kind of feel but with flat iron curls you're really supposed to have like a really good flick of your wrist um, sometimes you can add like really weird indentations in your hair and it's just not cute. Honestly, flat iron curls are just like practice makes perfect kind of vibe because I used to be horrible at flat iron curls, but some flat irons make the process so much easier. And the reason why I say that is just by how they're built. Some of them have plates that make it so much easy to curl and it kind of has that curling iron feel. The best advice I can give you is to not hold on for dear life. Honestly, just have a grace to your wrist and your glide to your flat iron 
so it can just go smooth and it kind of gives off once again like you're curling your hair with a curling iron so i try to slow down the clip so you can see what i'm doing um and so you know how long it actually really takes me so i can get a really fluffy effortless curl but the main thing you need to know you can honestly do a style like this with your regular curling iron but let your hair cool down and after it cools down press the ends out and you'll get the same exact look but i love a style like this because i find that it's super effortless and i find that a lot of my pieces go away from my face so if you're thinking that i'm alternating the curls not so much if i do start alternating that's going to be towards the bottom half of the hair but the top half i usually just curl away from my face and after i do all of this i like to just add a little bit of chi in my hair so i can get the luster back the lighting was kind of wonky because the sun was going down but that's basically what it gives you guys i love the outcome of these curls in love with my effortless beach wave kind of hair if y'all have been watching some of my previous hair tutorials or hair installs you have been seeing that i've been loving to do like a curl like this on my hair but the main purpose of this video was so you can see how well this hair transforms and how amazing the quality of i show hair is so everything that you need to know about this hair i show hair will be listed in the description box below once again and this is a customized unit that i made for myself with two and a half of their bundles and a closure unit so once again it will be listed but i just want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one Bye, y'all. This hairspray right here, amazing. Like, when I say I was spraying this on my hair, I'm sure you guys seen it. I never spray hairspray directly on any weave that I have in my hair, except for maybe to tame the flyaways. But I was actually spraying this on the hair after curling it, and it was still really easy to detangle. And my Got To Be Glue hairspray is not giving any of that. So I'm probably going to go and pick up, like, five of these so I don't run out. I would love to know what y'all want to see from me. If you guys want coloring, if you guys want a chit-chat, get ready with with me if you guys want me to show you guys how to take photos whatever the case may be I would love to know you guys feedback for the channel <laughs> 